Hello and welcome to the Gamers Table. It is Monday and we are reviewing Automobile. Hello. Hello. Yeah, the, the, the gameplay can end up uh, becoming very repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Automobile enables you and two to four other players to relive the exciting early years of the American car industry. Your industry pioneers and ingenious engineers who develop cars and the factories to build them between 1896 and 1930. The aim of Automobile is to make the most money by building and selling cars. During four game turns, you develop cars for the mass market, the middle class, and the premium class market. Demand varies within these markets during the course of the game, so you must plan carefully to meet the demand and avoid purchasing too many cars. The extensive examples of play at the start and end of the rules should give you a good head start. Okay, I want to mention first about this rule book. If you're interested in the history of automobile manufacture, this is great because for every section, they're giving you details about the guys on the board that they're talking about and when this sort of thing happened and who did that. The only bad thing about that is when you're trying to look for a rules clarification, you gotta skip, skim through three or four paragraphs of the history before you finally get to the rules information. I would classify it as Eurogame. There's lots of different uh, classifications for board games. It's very economic. You gotta keep track of your money. You gotta make sure you got money to buy the factories and then buy the cars that you're gonna build at the factories. I actually found out quite a few facts about the automobile industry just reading the manual to learn how to play this game. What's well, not bad, you know, if you get some manuals we've read before where they're just throwing all kinds of hilarious little jokes and ad-libs and stuff or whatever in there. And this one gives you a little bit of history, so that's, that's nice, yeah. You can learn something when you play a game. Look at the art on this too. This is nice with all these different models of cars. Yeah, it's great. Well, artwork, really well done. Well um, produced. The turn track explains everything. The first time I looked at this board, well, not I was literally. It helps, it helps keep but, things in order. Yeah, the yeah. first time I looked at this board, I was like, this isn't really telling me how it is. And then I was, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, it is. Everything you need to know is right on the board. So if you're, well, it's much more well, clear the, after you the read basics, the manual. Anyways. Oh, and the other night's part, all the stuff that isn't on the board is all on the back page. All the stuff is collected for you, so if you need reminders, it's all right there. Yep. Which is always handy. Yeah. Because right? you're not flipping through the rule book trying to figure out the stuff that you yeah, need to know on, to a figure out on a What your dice turn rolls basis. do and what you get to do on each turn. There's player interactions, the characters is really we're always looking at the characters to see if we remember what they do. There's a lot of math, there's a lot of thinking and planning. It's one of those games that I I was reading up on and it seemed really interesting <clears throat> about buying the factories and building the cars but I was really hoping there'd be a little bit more to it though it is a very solid game as it stands an expansion would definitely be nice yeah that the, the game play can end up uh, becoming very repetitive 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 here's one of those premium style things that some games deal with and some don't this is the money for the game as you can see full color Full color, gl glossy color, paper, yeah. printed on both sides for all the different denominations. The money alone is a great looking addition to this game. I was really impressed oh, yeah, when I opened well the box and what this looked like. All throughout the game. Excellent. It's a very nice looking game. Mm -hmm. What kind of game is this? Kind of... It's just a, had a discussion. Yeah, it's, it's not a worker placement game. And it's not really a resource management. Well, it is a, maybe a little bit, but... Uh, like an economic and you're not collecting. Type game. You're not collecting resources. Yeah, it's it's an economic type game. Yeah, it's a fairly simple game. There's not a lot of choices to make, and that's probably that's probably one thing I don't like about it. There's not, not too enough choice, not enough variety to it. First, you draw secretly the demand tile, so nobody knows what the total demand is going to be yet. Then you pick one of the six guys, which is Ford, Kettering, Sloan, Howard, Durant, Durant and Chrysler. Chrysler. They all give you a special power. And in the manual is descriptions of why these guys were all important to the car industry when it started. Again, things you might they, not they know. They, they also determine your turn order on the following turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you all have three actions. You do them in order. Everybody does an action, then everybody does a second, everybody does a third. Then the special guy out of here, Howard, allows you to immediately sell two cars because he was apparently the Before anyone else. most yes. prolific salesman in the history of car sales ever, is what they say. So, And then all your salesmen go out, any salesmen you put in the showroom go out. And there are only a limited number of spaces here. Make sure you look at that when you're picking your salesman. <laughs> Otherwise, your salesmen don't sell a car, and if they don't sell a car, they're fired, yep. and you get a black loss queue. 
Lost cubes are bad. They're not any salesman that don't really sell bad, but cars they're annoyingly that bad enough get to sold. Lose your money. They're all black marks against you. They're not as game breaking as we thought when we first no. played yeah. it, but there's no no one wants the it black adds, cubes. Everything adds up though. And then next, you do what's called executive actions, where you can choose one person only at this particular stage can choose to close one of their factories, or you can pick up a white. Disc Token thing. that allows you to sell two cars instead of one, or a gray disc that allows you to also sell two cars instead of one, but the gray disc you have to sell it at the lower price. But they're free to take. Then you all reveal the, the demand, demand tokens, and then you see how many more cars are going to be required. Again, if you've produced too many cars, you get a loss cube for every car you produce that didn't sell. Mm -hmm. It seems. Yeah, to I be got burned a few times yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 Okay, all right. so Let's wrapping up. Rate yes. This. So yeah, after a few plays, uh, I, it's he's, a better he's, game he's than I originally at, what, thought. Five or six. <laughs> I know, probably worse. No, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's uh, like I said, it's a well-produced game. I'm going to give that one a seven. Uh, the manual's a nice, I guess, a nice read according to Craig. I haven't read it myself. He explained the game to us, but uh, uh, the board. Well, just looking at the board, it's not too self-explanatory. But once you read the instructions, or someone tells you about it, I'll say, "Oh yeah, okay, I see how it'll go." Yeah, once you it's know not how that things go, it keeps it all in order. But again, like I said, replayability uh, not that great uh, for me anyway. Um, I think if they had more uh, automotive personalities in this game, they would give it, maybe mix it up for each game and give it a little bit more variety of choices. It's definitely not a game for everyone. So, uh, Ken had a rough time first few times he played it but it's a definitely solid well done game very very well produced and it is fun i give it an eight out of ten it's okay. not huge amount into it but it is what it is and and it is good i'll give automobile an eight because back to our very early reviews i can see this one hitting the table fairly often Another thing about this game, yeah, it is a little short in terms of gameplay, but that also means it's like an hour or less to play it, so you could yeah, almost use it as short a filler game. game. I want a game, not just not that's just pretty, or as you know, as easy to learn, or as an interesting rule book. I want something that's going to be fun to play over and over and over again, and be varied enough to keep me interested. And this one, not so much. So. So that's it for another episode of The Gamer's Table. I'm pretty sure we all gave yeah, numbers. Yeah, boy, we really <laughs> gave another review after. Yeah. We gave our numbers. Right? Review, rate, and then we reviewed review it some more. <laughs> A little bit of bonus well, you guys content. Well, see yeah. that. It's going to edit it to make sense. Sort of. As much as any of our episodes ever make sense. They do? Sort of. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Some so, people watch them. Yeah. So I'm told. <laughs> for information, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll see you next week with uh, another review from the Gamers Table. Of guess what? Another game. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's reviewing what we do. Uh, uh, rock video would be kind of dumb. Play can end up uh, becoming very repetitive, 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 repetitive. repetitive.